there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new video. It's been a very long time, almost a month since I uploaded my last video and that's because I was extremely busy with the exams, office work, college, uh, college stuff and I'm also working with the Young Artist Awards. So if you guys don't know, they are an award ceremony just like the Oscars for all the young teen uh, actors and actresses. It happens every year, so this time they contacted me, they said they want my help on that. So I've been very busy with that and that's why I wasn't able to upload any tutorial. Um, or any video but uh, you know I have some little free time now because the project is coming towards an end um, and basically their event is uh, in the you know t probably towards the end of March so uh, I'm done with my work uh, almost so um, today in this video we're going to be learning about branding uh, so just uh, yesterday uh, Bear Design if you guys don't know who Bear is B-E-H-R he's, he's one of my favorite graphic designers and he's a uh, you know uh, he has a YouTube channel and uploads a lot of tutorials and stuff like that um, so he recently started his uh, series called as uh, top three underrated, uh, underrated uh, series and uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and submit your submissions I'm going to put a link to his video there so you guys can go check that out um, so and uh, so I actually won so not me actually my design team which is visual cloud actually won you can follow them in the description down below the link will be there so uh, we actually uh, I actually submitted uh, one for visual cloud and uh, he you know out of all the logo designs he picked that and he showed it in his video which I'm really happy uh, that you know this, that it's getting a lot of exposure and my content is really good so I went through all his uh, you know uh, feedback and comments and he said that the branding which I done was extremely professional and really good um, so that's why I'm making this tutorial guys because I want to teach you guys this it's like a green signal for me saying that okay I'm pretty I'm pretty good at it because I have a professional telling me that it's good so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to brand all right so this is basically my Behance page so if you guys don't have a Behance profile I suggest you guys designers to go get one and upload all your works and upload only the best work over here all right, so if you see here, that's my name and uh, that's my logo and uh, we have a bunch of projects over here. So it's so I'm actually Visual Cloud is my team over here and uh, I'm uh, also, you know, uh, another member of this team is uh, called Ashok Rajan and uh, he also, you know, does a lot of design work. So we're doing this together. So we have a lot of stuff over here. So I'm going to link my portfolio as well if you guys want to check on my works. So if I click here on Visual Clouds page, uh, you can see that's gonna take us to a new location. It's basically our design team's page. So this is Visual Cloud and uh, we have a bunch of projects, uh, okay? So we, we're creating a lot of mascot logos and you know, simple logos. These are our logo folios, so you guys can go and check that out if you guys are interested. We also have some Twitter headers and uh, a little bit of work I did for Mastery, uh, which is Clash Royale. Uh, so if I show you our team members, so that's gonna be me and Ashok Rajan, so you guys can follow us there as well. Um, I'm into the projects and I'm going to be showing you uh, how exactly to brand your project. Uh, this one which is the owl mascot logo we did for a uh, esports uh, company called as Discover Esports. So let me just open that up and uh, I can show you guys uh, you know what and all you need to brand your project. Alright so this is how the portfolio looks like the branding. I also opened two other ones which I'll show you once I finish this up. So the first one is you want to mention uh, your name and uh, you know uh, you know say what it is is a mascot logo and the name of the team as well. Um, was really important for because the viewer needs to know what he's actually looking at so as you can see my team is visual cloud and it's done by ashok rajan which is my other team member and it's an owl mascot logo for discover esports okay and the next one is you want to go ahead and show the uh, actual logo so um so this is a logo which we have over here and we have a nice cool background and some flares with you know the, the blurriness uh, with a couple of lighting, you know, the faded uh, faded logo here. Looks pretty cool and uh, pretty awesome. Uh, you know, I use this for all the mascot logos. Um, it's really great and it uh, looks really cool. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial on that, just, you know, let me know in the, uh, you know, in the comment section, probably do that for you. The next one is the color scheme. So these are all the colors. So, I mean, I tried to make them look pretty different than all the other branding presentations and I felt this is pretty cool. So we have all the colors that are used in the logo. So we have around seven colors that we used in the logo and just two random colors to, you know, to set apart, you know, and give it a you know, pretty different feel and how it will look, you know, with if it had a white background, if it had a yellow background or a purple background. Uh, that's up to you. 
Uh, the next thing is where our mockups start. So if you guys don't know what a mockup is, mockup is basically, uh, you know, it's a Photoshop file, I would say. Uh, it's basically gives you the effect of realism that an object, it has actually, it has print or so if you see this Xbox, it actually looks like the, you know, an Xbox that you would buy with this kind of a print. So if you guys want the Xbox mockup, uh, you guys can find it on YouTube. I'll actually link it in the description if you guys want that as well. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and learn uh, about that. If you guys want to learn how to edit mockups, you can mention that in the comment section as well. And I'll make a tutorial on that. So what I actually did was I actually went and grabbed this uh, entire image and I just put it over here on the mockup um, and make it look good. All right, the next one is we have, uh, you know, the same thing on an iMac uh, screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, you can use a phone as a, you know, if you want to make it as a wallpaper mockup, you can use your phone uh, mockup and, you know, add that as your wallpaper. The next one is a card, which is a business card. So, you know, I found this, there are a lot of free mockups, which I think is really cool. So Discover Esports had their uh, tagline saying, learn esports, become a super fan. Uh, and, you know, I just put in the logo and, you know, it, it makes it look very good and professional. The next one we have is a uh, mouse pad mockup, which is also really good. Uh, I really it actually gives you the you know the effect of you know a texture, the actual texture of a mouse pad, which I really like. Uh, the next one is a jersey uh, texture one. Uh, these is available by Sports Templates. Uh, I'm going to link that also in the description. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, mockups, and it actually gives you the displacement over here. So it's so it's actually printed on a jersey, that kind of an effect. Uh, the next one is my favorite, which is the jersey designs. Uh, you know, I really like it. Uh, it looks amazing. Um, you know, with the lighting and the texture, and you know the way this looks. So these mockups are actually from Yellow Images. Uh, they're fifteen dollars per side, uh, and um, so I'm gonna link those in the description if you guys want to purchase that. Uh, it's one of my favorite mockups. I actually spend a lot of time on this because you know making them making the choosing the right colors for the jersey Like here. I have a different variation where the there's a black and there's a red over here And this is an opposite where I have red and I have white thing just picking the colors from the logo and just putting it on uh, Makes it look really cool and amazing Right, uh, so the next thing we have is the last one which says thank you for watching and you know uh, another presentation uh, you know with a nice flair uh, you know a little bit of blurriness here and there um, Giving a little bit of more perspective if you guys see I use the transform and perspective skew tool to go ahead and move them left and right uh, You know give them, uh, you know a little different feel So uh, this is basically how I do my branding for my projects now There's another one which I did not have in this because it, this mascot did not have a text as you see So I'm gonna go here and click on ghost gang so ghost gang was another one which was uh you know the client approaches they said they wanted a ghost mascot logo so here is the mascot logo and here it has the text uh, and this is oh, actually this is my second favorite one uh it looks pretty cool and amazing so this is the presentation which i did not have and i missed out so basically you want to split your text and uh, the logo separately and you know to showcase each of them separately i just added this nice uh, you know gradient to give it a little bit more difference these lines you know add to the effect a nice uh, you know a blur white lighting over here pretty cool uh, apart from that everything else remains the same the same mockups uh pretty cool uh i didn't have the the, uh, the 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 visitors card the business card one over here and here I just put the logos you know right in the in a corner like that uh, it, I mean it's up to you uh, you know it doesn't matter so yeah um, so the one which I want to show you guys the last one is the suit mascot logo which was this was the one which was actually featured on the underrated design series by Bear Designs so it's a suit mascot logo and uh, this is actually the logo. Um, so the same thing over here, uh, the same text, you know, you know, making them look pretty different and cool. Uh, just present, making them presentable is, you know, uh, look at this. Uh, I actually put it on the side so it makes it look even better than actually putting it in the center. Uh, and you know the, you know, the mockups and the Xbox controller. So uh, that is pretty much it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention them in the comment section down below. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.